batten down the hatches, mend the curtains. Come on, everybody. Well, hello, and another beautiful day on God's green earth. Drink your water. Make sure you're drinking water today. Makes a big difference. Today I'm gonna to tell you the differences I've noticed moving from California to Georgia. Georgia has been our first stop on our travels. Obviously, this isn't gonna to apply to every city and every place in Georgia. This is just my experience so far here. I'll go through, I guess, for lack of better word, the negatives. I don't wanna even call them negatives, but that's just what we're gonna say. We'll do the negatives first and then we'll do the positives. Number one, in no particular order, Georgia doesn't really put seat covers in their bathrooms. You know, the little seat covers that go on the toilet? Everywhere in California, I swear, has seat covers. But out here, they don't. So, I don't know. That's just kind of weird. Every once in a while, you'll find a place that have them. But it's definitely not the majority. Okay, I really have to get this off my chest. People out here drive like maniacs. I always thought California was known for like speed racers, you know, everyone's flying, everyone's in a hurry. I don't know what is going on out here, but it is chaos all the time on the roads. No one uses blinkers. When they do use a blinker, they don't actually turn the way that they're saying they're gonna turn. Speed limit means nothing. The freeways, everyone's just going light speed. Don't know if cops just don't give out speeding tickets here or what. California, they're always handing out speeding tickets. It's it's crazy on the roads here. Number three, this one hurts. This one really hurts my soul. The Mexican food out here, it sucks. It is no bueno. I really miss San Diego's Mexican food. And I knew that was gonna be a thing. I knew before we came out here, even to the South in general, that was gonna be a situation, but I still really miss it. Okay, this one's kind of random. This was a surprising one. So far, at least in our area, remember this is just the area that we've been in, customer service is horrible it is so so bad it seems like when you are either going into a place to eat or you're going to the deli at the grocery store anywhere it seems like you you are bothering them <laughs> by being being in their business I also realize you kind of have to go on their time. So if you're the customer and you're waiting on somebody to get you something, help you with something, you're on their time. <laughs> there is no um, sense of urgency. You just have to wait. <laughs> I don't know. There is not a lot of recycling out here. Everyone just kind of throws their cans and glass and plastic Everything just goes into the same bin. Mind you, we are also staying at a KOA, you know, with our RV. So that also might be the reason, maybe that's just not available to us here. I really like to recycle, so that's about it. Next one on the list. Healthy food options are really hard to find out here in your grocery store. Um, and it's there, it's definitely there. You have your healthy options, but there's a very limited selection and the healthy options are like pushed over to the side or they're like on the bottom it's not it's not your top shelf stuff next one smoking I'm not talking about the reefer everyone smokes cigarettes out here and I just thought I thought we were done with that I didn't realize that so many people still smoke cigarettes and I personally no offense, I can't stand the smell of cigarettes. Um, so when like someone's smoking close to me, it's just like, oh, Lulu, this one's for you. Georgia so far hasn't been as dog friendly as California. California, you're allowed to bring your dogs to quite a few restaurants on the patio. There's dog parks and it's just an overall dog friendly kind of place. Here in Georgia, um, some places, some restaurants that have a patio outside, they still don't even let you bring your dogs on the patio. Um, so that, that was kind of hard because I love bringing Lulu with me everywhere. <laughs> also, there's not a lot of hiking and I think in Northern Georgia, there's um, much more hiking. We're actually taking a hiking trip this weekend to 
Calhoun, Georgia, and I think there's some hiking outside of that. So this might change my perception, um, but in San Diego, there was hiking everywhere, and out here, everything is like, super flat. You probably already know this one, but we gotta talk about it because it's insane. I'm, I'm grouping all three of these together in one category because I hate them all the same. Pollen, the bugs, and the humidity. I don't understand why is it so crazy out here? Why are the bugs so nuts? They're not just like, they're not just like little bugs that, you know, don't really do anything and kind of mind their own business. They bite you. The bites hurt and itch so bad. These gnats that are out here, don't get me started on the gnats. I don't want to go into it. The pollen, I actually shouldn't even complain too bad about the pollen because I don't have allergies, but Mike has allergies really bad and he's been suffering. And then the humidity, obviously this fro doesn't do well in humidity, but it is what it is. Maybe another one that you might know already, which I don't know how I missed this one, but I wanted to go get a bottle of booze. I don't remember what, probably tequila. Walked into a CVS, I did laps all through the whole store didn't see anything and I went up to the front and I said um, you know I'm looking for your tequila I wish you could have seen the guy's face because it was like a good two to three second pause yeah we don't sell that here <laughs> I'm like oh then I come to find out that there's certain like times and days that you can buy alcohol I haven't even got that far yet that's just what my neighbors have told me so that's a thing. Um, not as many people exercise out here. It's interesting because Mike and I are both pretty active and you know, we go on runs, we work out, and people often look at us like we're completely nuts. I don't know. Okay, let's finish on a positive note. Everyone is super friendly here, um, very neighborly, and just, I don't know, it's like, it, even though we're near a city, it's a small town vibe and everybody waves at each other and it's more relaxed here. I don't feel like everyone is putting putting on. Is that like a thing? I feel more relaxed and comfortable and not as judged <laughs> when I go <laughs> into places in my funky sweats and my old t-shirts. And there's more Jeeps out here. There's way more Jeeps. In California, um, you'd see one every once in a while and if you own a Jeep, you know, it's jeep wave thing and it's like this whole club we're crazy but i really didn't know a lot of people out in san diego with jeeps there was a handful but out here they're everywhere okay this next one has to be one of my favorites the thunderstorms i am obsessed with thunderstorms san diego you never get you never really even get weather it's just sunny and 75 all the time which is beautiful it's wonderful but i want to have some thunderstorms every once in a while and i want to have some rain out here it happens quite often so I love that and another thing that I really like about here is there's so many different types of trees and there's trees everywhere you have your maple trees and your oaks and your pine trees and everything is just I don't know it's really green and pretty and I just I like all the trees okay they may not have good Mexican food out here but I'll tell you what there's barbecue everywhere and good barbecue I'm also gonna add sweet tea to this list because I love sweet tea and I don't know what which state it ends I want to say like after Texas once you get west there's no sweet tea anymore and I don't understand why that is that they need to push the sweet tea border to California it's so good next up this one gets its own category because I'm obsessed mr. Pib there's mr. Pib everywhere California San Diego there's no mr. Pib except at the AMC theater in Mission Valley this one's probably obvious, but definitely worth to mention. It's way cheaper out here for anything and everything. Your gas, um, Lulu's vet bills, groceries, going out to eat, everything is just cheaper and that's awesome. So you may not be able to buy alcohol in the CVS or on Sundays, but downtown Savannah lets you have open containers. So you can wander around downtown and you can have your drink in hand. It's like, Las Vegas in the south. It's great. Everything is less crowded. There's just less people, less congestion. Their traffic out here is like a 3 a.m. Monday morning in <laughs> San Diego. Like it's non-existent, but they are like, oh my god, there's so much traffic. 
<laughs> like this is nothing. San Diego to find parking is a nightmare. It's just a nightmare that there's not really those types of issues out here. And the history, there's tons of history everywhere around us out here. A lot of haunted stuff, which I love. And I just get a much more historic feel out here. And I really like that. Lulu, do you like Georgia? Yeah. She likes it. She's been having fun. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you live in either San Diego or Georgia, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you notice any of these similarities and I'll see you on the next one. Whew, that was fun. Why does it do that? Why does it turn off randomly? Does anyone have anyone else's Canon G7X just turn off? Thank <laughs> you.